Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my review for my Killer Reads A Thrill A Month Book Club book for September, and that was Eileen by Otessa Moshvag. This was right off the bat a five-star book for me, and I'm going to say probably not everybody's going to like this book. Um, judging from what I can tell from what people think about Moshvag's writing in general, um, you're probably not going to like the book. But I actually do like her writing quite a lot. Um, so let's get into it. So this story is about a 24-year-old woman named Eileen who works at a youth prison and she lives with her very abusive alcoholic, well, I'd say emotionally abusive, alcoholic father who's also somewhat of a hoarder it seems like. They live in a pretty filthy environment. Um, Eileen's the kind of person who doesn't really think very much of herself. She has a very rich inner life where she imagines all sorts of scenarios for herself and the people that she comes into contact with. Um, and a lot of that inner life has to do with fantasizing about a man named Randy, who's a prison guard, where she works. But she also fantasizes about uh, things happening to the people she doesn't care for so much in her life. The thing about Eileen is that she wears a mask throughout pretty much every day of her life, uh, where she doesn't really let her emotions be shown, and she doesn't show that anything really affects her personally either. While she's working at this prison, a new employee named Rebecca starts working there as an educator for the kids. And Rebecca becomes convinced that one of the inmates um, has been abused by his father and, uh, and killed his father because of that. But he has never told anybody anything about it, and his mother um, knew about it, and he says, and didn't do anything to help him. And the teacher, Rebecca, wants to help him in some way. And so one night she does something about it and she calls Eileen to come and help her and she's basically implicating Eileen in this crime basically that she's committing and ultimately leaves Eileen sort of holding the bag <laughs> and Eileen decides since she's always dreamt about running away maybe this is the perfect time to do it and what I liked about this story, besides the impeccable writing by Otessa Moshvag, I have to say, is that there's this hopefulness to Eileen's character. When you're reading the story, she's very, it's really down in the dumps. It's really practically depressing to read because there's nothing good in Eileen's life. Nobody likes her. She doesn't have any friends. She doesn't like feel good in her body. She doesn't feel like she belongs anywhere. But it's told from her point of view as an older woman who, after she has gotten away, is recounting these events. And the Eileen that got away decided to shed the mask and let love in and give all of her love, give it out, um, no matter the consequences, even if it put her in shitty situations. She decided to live with her whole heart and her whole being. And um, we don't get to see that Eileen, but Eileen tells us that. So it's very interesting, um, that sort of structure for the novel. But I absolutely loved it. I really loved it. I thought it was really, really good. Um, this won the Penn Hemingway Prize. This book was published in tw uh, 2015. Um, and it deserved it. It deserved to win a prize. It was so good. The writing was impeccable. Moshveg is a writer's writer. I, I, I am firmly convinced that if you are a writer of fiction and you're serious about it, you will like her writing because she doesn't pull any punches. She gets right into the grit. She gets right into the bodily elements of what it means to be a human being. All of the dirty details. And she and Moshveg doesn't shy away from any of it. And I love that. So I really, really was into this story, and I was really into the writing. Eileen was a really, really complicated character, and I thought that Moshveg did her justice. She really felt real. I could really relate to her on a personal level. She was just somebody like... We've all hated our bodies at some point. At least I feel like if you're an average person, you probably hated yourself or your body at some point. So we've all had those thoughts at one point or another. Um, we all have bad thoughts about people we come into contact with that we don't like. And we often fantasize about bad things happening to them or, you know, getting one up on them or something like that. Or if you don't, I seriously question whether or not you're a human being. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. 
I just really like the choices that Moshvag makes for her characters. They they seem like they're real people in the real world. They hide things. They don't want to confront reality, but they do in their brains. And sometimes they just want to escape. And I feel like that was like the most ho the most hopeful part of this book was that um, the idea of escape, escape from hating yourself, escape from hating other people, escape from this world where you feel like you're in a prison, um, where you feel like nobody understands you and you don't feel like you belong, and just opening yourself up to the possibilities that the world can offer you. But it really takes you making this conscious effort to do that. And not everybody can do that. And I applaud Eileen for making those choices. But I thought, you know, all the characters in this book, there are very few characters, and really only very few who we really hear from quite a bit. Um, namely, Eileen's father, um, Rebecca, and and um, the, youth's bo the youth prison boy's mother a little bit. Um, but it's mostly all about Eileen and her father and um, how Eileen feels trapped in her life. Um, she just doesn't feel any sense of love whatsoever. And I understand, too, the idea of putting on a mask to sort of escape it all, to act like nothing affects you, because that's just the easiest way to survive and the easiest way to get people to just leave you alone. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So it was easy five stars for me. I really love that sort of a thing. I like dark books, dark characters. Is it a thriller? I kind of think so at the end. I can see why it would be on the list uh, as a thriller for the Killer Reads Thrill Month Book Club, which is, if you don't know, I forgot to say, it, which is reading the Penguin's list of the top thrillers of all time. So um, a lot of the books on the list are obviously thrillers and some are not so obvious. I think this is one of those that's not so obvious. But there is a build-up and there is a tension that's, that builds. And you kind of have an idea of what's going to happen, but when it happens, uh, I think it's not as straightforward as you would imagine it to be. So, yeah. Five stars for Eileen. I really loved it. So the book for October I've actually read before and I will read it again. It didn't take me that long to read the first time and it won't take me that long to read this time, I'm sure. Um, and that is Paula Hawkins' The Girl on the Train, which has a film adaptation, which I have seen and did like and I thought was pretty faithful to the book. Um, a lot of people have a problem with this book and I think it's if you don't really like an unreliable narrator, you're not going to like it. But I actually really did like it, and I thought that it was really well written and really well done. And I'm looking forward to reading it again. Why not? Even though I know what happens, I really enjoyed the writing, and I might discover something different the next time around. You never know. But this is the book for October. And I'll read the back in case you don't know what it's about. If you want to join, I'll leave a Discord link down below to my Discord channel, so you can follow along with this book and read along if you want to, or any of the future books which will be listed in the description box down below. So here's what this book is about. Rachel takes the same commuter train every morning and night. Every day she rattles down the track, flashes past a sketch of cozy suburban homes, and stops at the signal that allows her to daily watch the same couple breakfasting on their deck. She's even started to feel like she knows them. Jess and Jason, she calls them. Their life, as she sees it, is perfect, not unlike the life she recently lost. Until today. And then she sees something shocking. It's only a minute until the train moves on, but it's enough. Now everything's changed. Unable to keep it to herself, Rachel goes to the police. But is she really as unreliable as they say? Soon she is deeply entangled not only in the investigation, but in the lives of everyone involved. Has she done more harm than good? The Girl on the Train, Paula Hawkins, book for October. So that was my review of Eileen by Otessa Moshvag. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you've read this book and what you thought about it. If you did or if you're interested in reading it, if you've read any other Moshvag work and what you thought about that, I would be interested in hearing about that too. And I'd love to have a conversation in the comment section. So let me know what you think. So give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. I hope you did. And subscribe to my channel if you would. I really appreciate it. And I will see you back here on my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.